Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're gonna talk about creating our own personalized workspace in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Scott. And this week we're gonna talk about personalized workspaces. So personalized workspaces allow you to create and organize your work in the way that you want. So on the workspaces, you can add grids and tiles and links to screens based on what you do on a daily basis. So let's take a look at how to create those. All right, so let's create our own personal workspace. So where we're gonna start off at is on the home page. And what you wanna do is just find some gray space here and then you're gonna right click on the page and you're just gonna go ahead and personalize the tile page container there. And then you get an option here to add a workspace. We're going to go ahead and add a workspace there to it. Now, if you scroll all the way back down to the bottom, you'll have a, a tile that's called My Workspace, and then let's go ahead and personalize that. So what I'm gonna call this one is uh, Warehouse Operations, just to give it a name. And then let's go ahead, and so we've got our workspace created, but there's nothing in it, right? So when I click on it here, there's, there's nothing in it at this point. So let's go ahead and add a couple of items to it here. So first thing, let's go to, we want to show work. So let's say we want to look at uh, open sales work. So I'm going to go to the warehouse management in the work section and outbound. Let's go to open sales work. And on any screen that you can add to the workspace, which most of them you can, under the options tab, there's, a, there's this section called add to workspace. And we're going to add this two different ways. So we're going to say, we're going to add this to our warehouse operations workspace. And we can choose between a tile, a list, or a link, all right? So in this one, we're gonna do a tile and a list. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit configure here. And on the tile, we're just gonna put uh, warehouse, call it the same thing. I'll, uh, I'll show you what that is in a second. And we're gonna show account on the tile. Go ahead and say okay to that. And we're gonna go ahead and add it as a list as well. So we'll go ahead and, go ahead and choose list. We'll hit configure. And we're gonna call this one open work items sales, okay? And we can choose the columns that we want. I'm just gonna leave it as a default, but know that you can choose whatever you want here. I'm gonna say okay. All right, so let's go back and take a look at our workspace now. So we're gonna go back to the home page and scroll down to our... Now, sometimes I have seen it flip back to the old name. Let me go ahead and refresh the screen. I have seen that before when you don't refresh, but it will eventually stick there. So let's go back and fix that. Let's hit refresh, we should go back down and see our name is back to where it should be. All right, so we'll go to Warehouse Operations. And so we have a, this is a tile, and then this is our, our list, okay? So this is the description I put on it, and it's a bad description, so I just, I, I named it badly. So I really want it to be called Open, uh, sales items. So let's go ahead and personalize this. We're going to personalize. And instead of warehouse operations, we're going to call this one open work sales. There we go. And there we have it. All right. So it's basically going to reflect this number is how many are open. And then we have a list over here. You can also, when you create these tiles, you can click on it and it will take you to the screen itself. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's add a few other items. So um, let's go back to and uh, to the warehouse management module we're going to go warehouse management and let's go ahead and we'll take a look at we'll go ahead and add open transfers so we're going to add open transfer issue work and go do the same thing here i'm going to add a tile and a um and a uh, list so we're going to configure the tile and this is going to be open transfers I do want to show that count on the top because that's what I want to see that. And then I'm going to add it as a list as well. All right. And I can change the column. Let's see here. It's going to be open transfers. Then say OK. So let's take a look and see where it adds things here. So if we go back to our home page and scroll down, our name is still warehouse operations, so that's good. And now we've got open transfers, and we have open sales work. And then, so those are our tiles, and then we have our grids here. Okay, so there's no open transfers, and we do have some open sales items. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a few other of these, and then we're gonna take a look at the links. So I'll be right back. 
All right, so I finished building out the tiles and, and data lists that I that I have. So notice here I've, I've added several things. I've got sales, open sales orders, open transfers, open cycle counts, cycle counts, pending review, open replenishment work, work blocked repl by replenishment. And I've got the same tiles over here. Now, I know you don't have to have the tile to match up to the list. It, I put the tiles here just so I can easily see, okay, I've got some open cycle counts, and so I don't have to click on each one of them to see if there's open values or not, but certainly you don't need both, right? All right, so let's move on and let's go ahead and add some links. So maybe there's some screens that you use fairly often. So let's start with maybe, um, let's say you're gonna go use the release products a lot. So let's go to procurement, um, excuse me, product information management and release products. And again, same kind of spot over here. We're gonna go under the options tab here and we're going to add the workspace. Our warehouse operations are filling because that's what the one we're working on. And then this time we're going to do a link. And we're going to hit configure. And let's say we're going to put this in, the name of this one is going to be release products. And the group name, let's just call it inventory. I'll show you what that means in just a second. And let me add another one just so you can see what those groups are doing here. So this next one we'll do the shipments page. So we'll go and we'll look at, put the all shipments page on there. So we've got all shipments. And again, we're going to options and add to workspace. And we're going to do this as a link. And we're going to call this one all shipments. And in this group, we're going to call this one warehouse. Okay, and we'll say okay to that. All right, so let's go back to our workspace. So we'll go back to the home page. And we'll go back to our warehouse operations page. And notice now, if we scroll over, we have our, our different groups here. So remember, we called the inventory group and a warehouse group, and then we put release products and all shipment, uh, shipments under it. So what these do are just links. So if I click on that, that'll link me directly to the page that I linked to, okay? So this puts me right into the release products page. And when I exit out of that, that's gonna send me back to my, my little workspace here. The biggest thing I can recommend when you create these workspaces is just kind of have an idea of what you want to do before you start creating them. You can always arrange them later the way you want it, but if you've got some idea of the screens that you want to include on your workspace, it just makes it easier to, uh, to create it in, in the order that you want things to be shown on the screen, okay? So I hope you found some value in this video. Uh, if you did, please uh, give it a like or thumbs up. That just helps the distribution of the video. And also uh, feel free to subscribe and put out video content about once or twice a week on a Dynamics 365 process. Um, so if you want to get notified when I upload a new video, um, be sure and uh, subscribe. Also, I'm on LinkedIn. I've got my LinkedIn uh, profile link below. So feel free to follow me on LinkedIn as well. I post my videos there as well. Okay, so until next time, thanks for watching and have a great week.